On Saturday night, actor Bill Oberst Jr. brings his one-man show to the Tivoli. It's a tribute to humorous, humorous Louis Grizzard, who died almost 20 years ago. Now, Grizzard was a humor writer in books and newspaper columns, as well as a stand-up comic. Now, he specialized in Southern humor. Oberst certainly looks the part, but tonight we want to show you the real thing. We're going back into the archives to a Grizzard visit in 1991, the year his beloved Braves went from worst to first. Louis Grizzard says he doesn't have any kids, which is too bad because he'd make a pretty good grandfather. His two great loves are sports and storytelling, and lately he's been able to combine the two. I, I keep telling myself, you know, if somebody told me in the spring that the Braves would still be in the pennant race in the middle of September, I would have thought they were crazy, hey, but I would say that's great. Now I've caught myself at if they lost every game the rest of the year, it's still been an amazing story. You may know Grizzard from your morning paper. He's syndicated in more than 400 cities. But until last night, you might not have known that he could tell a good story and carry a tune. When as a child I saw the world, Grandma Willis Young. Grizzard attacks phonies, politicians, and Dodger fans with equal ease. And the only thing each column has in common is the way it starts. I write early in the morning on my kitchen table on a 1959 Royal typewriter in my underwear. And uh, I've, I've noticed that I write better in my underwear than I do in any other, any other time. But I write... And don't let the sockless West Coast look fool you. This guy will be rooting for the Braves, even if he can't get tickets. I tried everything. I even called and... And on the phone, this brave ticket office, I said, this is God. I need four tickets. And the lady said, your son already called. He couldn't get tickets either. So. Well, we don't have any new Oscar contenders at the movie theater.